Twilight Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting all of your nails black. On your thumbnail with nude paint, we're going to start by almost sketching out the shapes of the hands that are holding the apple on the book cover. And the reason I say we're sketching this out is because none of these shapes are set in stone. You can always fix and adjust and tweak things later. So don't feel too stressed out that they have to be perfect at this stage because they really, they don't. And once you add the apple in, you're going to see what needs to be changed, what lines need to be thicker, what lines need to be thicker or thinner, etc. So just paint where you think they should go, where you think would be the best place, and then you can always adjust them later. So now, like I mentioned, we're going to be painting the apple, so I'm just going to paint a red circle in the center of my hands. And so now here's where you really are going to want to define the shape of your hands and your wrists. So go over and add a second coat, and you may need to make the fingers a little longer or something like that. So just make sure that everything has a nice, solid, even coat over it. And if there are any lines that you think at this stage need to be changed where they are where they shouldn't be, you can cover them up with black. So now using black paint, I am going to add the darkest shading around the apple. And as I mentioned right here, I am going out and I'm going to thin out the wrist on the one side just a little bit and adjust your shapes. I believe that it doesn't have to be perfect the first time, just as long as you're willing to keep trying until you think it's perfect on your last attempt. So now I'm going to be doing some more of the shading, but the softer shading now on the hands and the arms with brown. And I'm using watered down brown paint. And I am one person that is almost afraid to shade. I think I'm going to overdo it, go overboard. But I think, I don't know if it's just, I don't, I don't really know what that is. But you don't want to be afraid to add depth to your art. So now I'm going to be doing the same thing with the apple, but this time I'm using black but you could also use like a darker burgundy color and now I'm going to blend in some of that shading with red paint and now I'm going to go over and I'm going to highlight the apple and I'm using watered down red paint and you don't want to use watered down pink because that'll add a different hue to the apple so for this particular one you definitely want to use just white and I'm also going to go through with the watered down white and highlight the arms And so now with just a little bit of brown, I'm going to add the stem. On your pointer, middle, ring, and pinky, start by adding some white paint that's fading up your nail, and then cover up the white with blue. The reason you put the white underneath is so that the blue shows up better. So now on your pointer nail, we're going to be painting the first three letters of Twilight, and so I'm going to be starting with the W. And I'm going to start with the center of the W in the center of my nail. Since there's three letters, you want the middle letter to be in the middle. And so that makes helps you budget your space for the other two letters, in this case, the T and the I. On your middle, we're going to be painting the next three letters. So I'm going to start with the I, and because the G is a much wider letter than the L is, I'm going to paint the I slightly more leaning on the L side, just to allot the G the space that it needs in order for the nail to look balanced.
N on your ringnail paint HT. And all of these letters are the way that they should be if you're painting this on your left hand. If you're painting this on your right hand, you want to make what I said for your pointer nose, your ring, and your ring for your pointer. And on your pinky nail with black paint, I'm going to be painting the silhouette of a tree-lined hill. So I'm going to start with just the slope. It's going to be for the hill. And then above it, I'm just going to add little lines and make them into little tiny pine trees. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!